Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out quite a few lenses that I have sitting around. I've got a series that I'm shooting uh, coming up here for Black History Month and I just was curious how all my lenses stacked up. Stick around to the end because you'll be surprised. I found out something super hilarious. We'll be comparing the Super Tecmar F2 35, Sigma 35 F2, Canon 24 to 105 F4, Roku 9 85 T1.5, the Helios 44-6 f1.2 and the Super Tacmar 28 3.5 against my DZO film Pictor Zoom set. For this test, I had the subject, my son, stand at the same spot and I didn't move the camera. I recorded this Blackmagic 6K B-RAW 12 to 1 compression. I have to say that my least favorite on this one is the Tacomar. Uh, it feels a little flatter than the Canon, but the Pictor Zoom just had that nice pop and you know, shooting wide open, it's even better. I love it, love the warmth and the creaminess, the depth of field. Okay, let's go to the 58. Uh, the Canon definitely feels flat. They're all at F4, but the Canon doesn't have as much depth of field as the Helios. Gotta say, I love the Helios on this one. If you're getting value out of this, uh, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified because I got some Black History stuff coming up that I'll be shooting. I'm gonna break it down how I shot it, how I edit, how I light it, how I color it, everything, and you don't wanna miss it. Uh, let's go to Okay, let's hop over to the 85. I'd have to say I like the Rokinon better, but the pig door definitely has a lot more depth of field. And then it's the pig door zoom wide open at 85. Okay, so my most used lenses are my 35 and my 24 to 105. When I'm on my GH5, then I get a 2.8 out of it. So I get a little bit more shallow depth of field. When I'm on my 6K, this is internal stabilization. And so I'm able to handhold, you know, the camera. I like the 35, uh, mainly because it's super clean and it drops all the way down to 1.8. My vintage lenses, I bought these, um, 2020, 2021, they stay in a drawer. I never shoot with them. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. I used them a few times and just didn't think too much of them. I didn't do too many tests with them. My Rokinon, I've had this for about seven, eight years now. The most expensive lenses that I own, I never used them. With my rig, they're heavy. Those are really heavy lenses and you pretty much gotta be on sticks. I mean, if you're on, handheld then you gotta have like some shoulder mount and I usually don't rig my camera up that, that super big. And the thing I found out today is that I love the vintage lenses in certain instances more than the Pictor Zoom. And the Pictor Zoom has the most 3D pop all my lenses at like every focal point. 
and they should, right? They're expensive. I found out that I do not like this lens as much as I thought I did. There's no character. It's the F4 is ugly. <sighs> yeah. Um, I might feel different if I'm outside using this and there's a ton of light to use it with and maybe run and gun type stuff. Anything that needs character like documentaries, short films. I think I'm gonna pick up more vintage lenses. Yeah, so stay tuned.